Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create stylized liquid logo reveal in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition, create a new solid and let's rename these background and then apply and create a ramp and let's choose here radial and just make a bluish color here something like that and for the second one we're just going to darker it and so here let's apply noise and go for five percent very straightforward and I'm going to create a new comp here and this is going to be a logo holder so here I already have this PNG logo here so we're going to just resize it inside the comp and I'm going to drag this logo comp inside the main comp here and I'm going to rename it to lines and then apply Vegas effect so when you apply Vegas effect you can see anything so on three shell we're going to sit there one so now we can see these segments right here and here we have control of those segments so we're going to put that to one and here we have length so we're going to animate that from zero to around three seconds we're going to put that to one and as you see we got something like that very straightforward and for now let's change color to white and blended mode to transparent here so we can only see the outlines and here we have hardness and so on. So we're going to leave that zero and opacities here to play with. So what I'm going to do actually here, you can see when we go to the end, we still have some opacity left there. So we can animate here the end opacity from zero to one. And we're going to easy ease these keyframes. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, as you see, it's look very nice and very straightforward. We can go for width to four. And so and now let's apply four gradient here. And just to recolor these, something near blue here. Something like that, very straightforward. And then we're going to duplicate these and just rename the second one drops. And here I'm going to remove this gradient. Let's just solo these drops here. And what I'm going to do here is get rid of this length and just put that to the minimum here. 0 0.01, just like a dot. And what I'm going to do here actually is change here uh, the width. So you can see here we have width. So I'm going to animate actually width from 10 to the same uh, keyframe of the length for lines, we're going to put these to the minimum right there. So something like that. So it's going to be animating as you see. And so what we're going to animate with that is the rotation. So we're going from minus 350 to 12. And for this one as well, we're going to change this rotation to 12. So now let's just see them all together here. So you can see here, actually it's following here. So we can play with the end rotation right there. Or actually what we need to do is easy ease these keyframes here. So you can see now they are all on sync into place. So let's preview and see how this looks like. Okay, that's look pretty cool. So maybe here what we can do is with the width, we can actually change these value here. So just change these something like that. So we have more, maybe at the end,
Okay, so for this one, I'm going to apply glow and you can see how it's now glowing. That look pretty cool. So, and now basically, we want to add the liquid look inside these logo, like a fill for it. So what I'm going to do here basically is just drag these logo again here and pre-compose it. Or actually, yeah, let's just pre-compose these and rename it liquid and hit OK. So inside this one, I'm going to create a new solid here and rename these to liquid. And then I'm going to apply turbulence displacement. So basically nothing happened here. So the key here, I'm going to create a mask inside this liquid, something like that, just a circle. And you can see now how the liquid or turbulence displacement got kind of like a liquid look. So you can change here the evolution and you can see what's going on there. So the idea here is just Create the amount here, crank up it to high amount and the size to 30. So we got something like that as you see here. And then what I'm going to do here is animating the expansion of the mask. So here we can go from really uh, until we, it disappeared and around three seconds, we want to cover the whole logo as you see there. So let's just preview and see how it looks like. Okay, you can see how it looks. So like some liquid animation here. And then on blended mode, I'm going to set this to stencil alpha. So now we're just going to reveal the logo as you see here. So now let's go back to this one and just so now I can see how it's revealing right there. So let's preview this. So as you see, we got some very cool liquid look. So here I'm going to apply actually matte choker. So you can see what it does actually, just choke that a little bit. And also I'm going to add fill. I want that to be white. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So I just see it look very nice and very liquidy. And so you can see here, we have at the end actual, we can put the opacity of this drop to actually just you can see we still see it right there. So we can just animate the opacity from 100 to zero. So here we got that, so something like that. So very straightforward looking. And on drops, basically, maybe here we can play with these hardness and also maybe the opacities here. We don't need these animation here, basically. So you can put that to one. So we got some nice more glow on that drop. And another thing is basically to duplicate these lines here. And so what I'm going to do here is with the liquid just alpha and vary that. So we can see here actually just alpha and vary these liquid just so we can have it inside. So you can see here the difference. And another tip here, you can see here the animation is start from the middle or the center and then just randomly start the liquid. And if we want to make the liquid actually start from the bottom, so all I need to do here is moving these. You can see how when you move these masks how you can actually change the look. You can also animate that and doing a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going just to put these below and just make these longer like that, this mask. And here, let's just go for 200 and right here, 10. I have this soft look. So here, let's put these to zero and let's see 
Maybe we can move this mask a little bit right there. And just adjust the expansion here. Okay, just right there. Let's preview to see how it looks. And as you see, we got this nice revealing easy mask and turbulence display. So we can actually change the amount here and also the size if you need it. It's just going to give you more control here. Also, you can offset the turbulence so you can see here, you can just get these look uh, differently here as you see. And so let's go back to the main comp here. And so the idea here, I want the liquid start when these actual lines are at the bottom right there. So we just can offset these right there. So maybe going to start just right there so you can see we got it into sync. So now it's synchronized. So let's look how this looks like. Okay, that's look pretty cool. And so now we can stylize these just by duplicating these liquid and just stagger these, change here the color as you see here and just duplicate it one more time. And just stagger these comp, changing the color right here. Maybe to something darker or lighter, something like that. And we can also just animate the opacity of the last one here. So from 100 to zero. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So that's look pretty cool as you see here. And another thing here is actually you can go to lines here and randomize the phase. Same for drops. So now you can see they are actually just randomized here. So they are not on the same position of the start. So you can see here you can actually just uh, play with the rotation or just random seats here. So let's have the same seats here. So you can see now we got some random animations as you see. So let's go back to the same as before. And another tip I want to show you here is this animation here. So basically here, I decompose this logo. So here, if we open these liquid in this logo on, you can see here, the main logo actually look like that. So we just decompose that on each part. So the logo first part here, uh, we just let's actually turn off these. So here we have actually the same animation and we call another one for the other parts. So to have more control so we can decompose your logo as you see here and just have it or animating it the way you want to. So that's it guys. Hope you like this tutorial and find it very useful for you as always. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.